Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 308 and I wanted to give you a quick pricing tip today. And the reason this is on my mind is because I have worked with several clients recently who are either refining or even establishing their price list. And also, I just wrapped up all of the coursework for the Pricing for Profitability course online. It's available and I will share that link below. But I want to talk about the cognitive bias called price anchoring. And anchoring refers to the tendency to heavily rely on the first piece of information offered when making a decision. Therefore, you probably would not want to put your cheapest offerings at the top of your price list, whether that's the investment page on your website or a PDF or a guide that you share with your clients. Start to pay attention to the way you consume products and services and how you feel about pricing. If you see something that is a certain price and it's a low price, say you're shopping for something, it's sitting around $100, you see $100, you're, you become okay with $100, but then you see other offerings that are $250, $300, $500, you are never going to get past that cognitive bias, that price anchoring, at least not without a struggle. You're always gonna have the $100 price point as your anchor. This happens for clients as well. So if you share something on your website, say your a la carte print price list, and the first item is something that's $25, and then you work your way down, and then you have your packages, and then ultimately you sell something that's six, $800, they have $25 in their mind, and that is a bad situation, at least for you it is. So I would recommend placing your highest product, your most expensive product or service, the top of your price list, because when people see that, that becomes their price anchor. They're going to heavily rely on that information when they make a decision. Then as they look down, everything will start to look a little bit more maybe reasonable or affordable based on their budget. It won't feel as bad. So a lot of times photographers will recommend that you have three packages. Uh, I don't know if I recommend that. I go back and forth with it. But if you do have three packages, then you absolutely want to list the most expensive one first. And by the way, that most expensive one should be unattainable, out of reach, so mind blowing <laughs> that people are like, what? And then they scroll down and they see prices that they can afford. But the first time someone books your highest package, it needs to go up or it needs to change. That's one of the pricing strategies. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I was asked this question a lot recently on pricing, the psychology behind it, how you approach it. It's so much more than just the numbers. And in the course, I cover the art and the science of pricing, which is actually really good news because you can tailor it to suit your specific business needs. There's really not a right or wrong answer, but there is certainly a profitable answer and I share that in the course. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.